Hi guys, it's DJ here from CozyRC and we got a mini mono in the workshop. I modified the bottom with some lifting strikes. I'm very curious how they will affect the performance, so in this video we're going to find out. Unfortunately I didn't record the process of making them, but I made them from a stringer 5x5mm. Like this. I took the stringer and I held it like this with the edge in the top and then I cut it with a knife until it's almost flat and then I did some fine sanding with a sanding block like this. So with the top flat I sanded it like this until I got a nice triangle shape basically like the top shape under this line. Then I marked two lines on the bottom to align the lifting strakes and then I glued them on First for the straight part, and I used CA glue for that, and after the straight part was uh, fixed, I slowly bended it and glued the front section. And then after it was applied, I again took a small sanding block, this one, and then I started sanding the lifting strakes, basically so that they are horizontal with the waterline. So if you look like this, basically the lifting strakes are horizontal. So I sanded it slowly from front to back until I was happy with the shape and then I just give it some clear coat to make it water resistant and here we are. So I'm very curious how it will affect the cornering ability and also it might improve the top speed. We're going to run it with two 3S LiPos. First this 2.2 amp LiPo and second this 3 amp LiPo. Uh, the last time I tried this 2.2 amp LiPo the top speed was considerably less than with the 3 amp LiPo. I got, I believe, 63 kilometers an hour, and with this one I got about 72 kilometers an hour. So 9 kilometers an hour difference. Uh, but I also got to say, this one was brand new. It was the first charge, and normally you have to cycle them a few times before they really give the performance. So let's see how it will go this time. Here we are at the pond, got the GPS uh, zeroed, so let's put it in. First run with the 2.2 3S LiPo, the 36 1.9 pitch prop, let's try. There we go. First impression is good. Let's see. Yes, it does seem to run a little bit drier. And faster too. The GPS will tell if I'm right. Oh, no! Flipped it. Got it recovered with my fishing rod. So let's try again. So I'm not sure if the cornering is more stable. It actually feels a little bit less stable with the lifting strakes. At least for the sharp corners. But it does feel faster for sure. You see that wobbly, that wobbly behavior. But it has uh, the bow more out of the water for sure. And it enables to unspool the prop. Or how to say, unload the prop better. Oh! It almost went again. Yes, it's really interesting. 
So I think the cornering is uh, actually the cornering performance is less because the, the hull wants to stabilize for the straight for the straights and uh, Oh, more those. Oh. Anyway. I was going to say that is a fun boat after all. All right, let's see. 67, nice. So last time with this lipo, I think I got 63. So that's a four kilometer an hour gain. Nice. Let's check the temperatures. Motor. Oh, absolutely cold. The weather in the Netherlands now is about the temperature is about 11 degrees, so it's also quite cold outside. But I think the lifting strokes also help to unload the setup and therefore to run it cool, to run cooler. Nice. Okay, so that was the 2.2 amp LiPo. Now let's switch to the 3 amp LiPo, which should have a bit more power. And let's see if we can get a speed record with this setup. I think for this setup, speed record on 3S is uh, about 72. So let's see if we can beat it. Put the speed back to zero. Let's try. Let's right away go for a top speed test. Does have more juice with this uh, light bulb for sure. Even though this light bulb is about 70 grams heavier, the hull still runs very light. Nice spray of water cooling. Even hear the difference in sound with these spray wheels, uh, lifting strikes. Sorry. Let's go for a lap here. Oh. I do sometimes have to lift the throttle because the boat becomes a bit unstable, but. Fast for sure. Nice. Wow, it's ripping. I think I should down tilt the stinger a bit because now it's running too dry almost. I 
Tempo auch. Nice. Curious about the speed with this light on. Oh, wow. see if we beat this 72 kilometer an hour record for this setup with this prop the all-time 3s record is 76 with a three blades prop 72 wow yes that's exactly the previous record so it's a good result nice How about the temperatures Motor 24, 20, absolutely cold, LiPo 41, 45, 49, oh wow the LiPo is quite hot, 51, 53, okay, speed controller, 18, 20, 27, about 20. So what's the verdict of the lifting strakes added to this hull? It definitely runs different, it runs more dry, but it also runs a little bit less stable. But overall I really like them. The hull is running more dry with less resistance and uh, since I like top speed that's always a good thing. So these lifting strakes are a keeper. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Bye!